What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to transfer everything from your old iPhone to a brand new iPhone 17, 17 Pro, 17 Pro Max, or iPhone Air. So this process, it can be daunting, but that's why I'm here, to make it simple and seamless so you can get everything transferred over without any issues. And thankfully, once again this year, Apple has continued to make the process even better and even quicker. So we're gonna be transferring all of my photos, my text messages, my home screen icons, my settings, everything from my old iPhone to this new iPhone 17 Pro Max in Cosmic Orange. And keep in mind, I'm gonna be showing you the best method to do this. There are multiple ways, but I'm gonna show you the best way in my opinion. That way you stay logged into your social media applications, your mail accounts, and everything. Oh, and by the way, I will also cover the process of switching from a physical SIM card to an eSIM. Or if you have an eSIM already, switching from one phone, that eSIM on that phone, to another phone. So this is important as well for the iPhone Air specifically, since this one is eSIM worldwide. Even in countries where you typically have a SIM card slot, you will not have that with the iPhone Air because of its thin profile. All right, so let's get to it. So first off, you should be on the hello screen on your brand new iPhone 17 or iPhone Air. However, if you already went past that, you already started to try to set it up, you can get back to that screen very easily. So don't worry. So go into your settings. If you're on your iPhone 17 and you want to get back to the screen, go into your settings, go to general, then you want to scroll down to the bottom until you see transfer or reset iPhone. You want to tap on that and then you want to tap on erase all content and settings. And once you do that, it will say erase this phone. Phone, you want to tap on continue and you want to erase that phone, which that phone is the iPhone 17. You still want to have all the data on the phone that you're transferring data from your old phone. So in this example, this is my iPhone 16 Pro Max. So I don't want to erase this phone because that has all my data. I would only do that if I went through that process already on the 17 series and I want to get back there. So let's go ahead and do not now for that because we want to actually transfer this data over to this phone. So first off, you do want to make sure you're on the latest software on your old phone so on my 16 pro max here i want to make sure that i'm on the latest so we're going to go into our settings we're going to go to general we're going to go to software updates and make sure that we do not have any software updates available now there's one more thing that you should do on your old phone before we start the transfer process and that is to make an icloud backup now this is not required but i always say this because it's something that could save you in the end if you end up losing your data if your phone gets stolen anything like that you need an icloud backup it is highly recommended so go to your settings tap on your profile picture up top from here you want to go into the iCloud section and from here you want to make sure that you have some storage remaining if not you should go ahead and upgrade it is worth the cost to back up your data you want to go down here to where it says iCloud backup tap on that and then right here you want to back up now even if your last successful backup was earlier in the day you want to tap on backup now to have the most up-to-date backup that way all of your data is stored in iCloud just in case something goes wrong okay so once we've made sure that we're on the latest software version on our old phone and we've already done an iCloud backup, it's time to begin the transfer process on the new iPhone 17. So once you're on the screen, you want to swipe up, select your language. I'm gonna do English in this example. I'm going to do United States as my country. And then right here we have the appearance. So if you want your appearance to be a little bit larger, if you maybe do not have the best eyesight, you might wanna do medium or large. You could choose what you would like. I'll just go ahead and do medium for this example. And then once you get to this screen, you should see your old iPhone get this pop-up right here that says set up new iPhone and it asks you to use your Apple account. Now, if that does not pop up for you, go ahead and lock your old device and unlock it. And then you should see it. So let's go ahead and tap on continue. This is the easiest way to go ahead and set it up. And you will have to put in the passcode for the new iPhone right there. And now we're going to scan this little orb on the new phone with our old phone's camera. So we're just gonna go ahead and scan that like we're taking a picture. There we go. And it asked me who is signing into the iPhone. So if you do have a child on your account, you will see it right there. I'm just going to continue with me. You will have to enter the passcode of the old iPhone on the new iPhone, and then it will begin the setup process. Okay, so now we have our data and privacy screen right here we're just going to go ahead and tap on continue on that now by the way during this process if you do have a physical sim card on your old device you will be prompted to set up and convert it to an eSIM during this process so i have an eSIM already so i'm not going to get that prompt but if you do have one you will see that and you will have to choose the cellular plan from your old device that you want to transfer so i'll show you the eSIM to eSIM it's pretty similar so now we have face id you definitely want to go ahead and set this up right away it's very simple all you need to do is once you tap on get started right here just position your head in the frame right here and you just want to go in a circle so don't worry about this the circles on the 
little bar right there, the little you know screen. Just put your head in a circle, keep putting your head in a circle really slow and you will get through it. And now I asked if you want to use Face ID with a mask. So if you wear a mask, you could do that. I'm just going to do no. You could always change that in the settings. So our Face ID is now set up. It only needed one scan. Okay, so now we have a decision to make. So we have transfer your data. So you could either download from iCloud or you can transfer from another iPhone. Now here's the thing. I would only recommend downloading from iCloud if you have fast Wi-Fi and you're gonna be you know, at your house for a while. You're gonna be on Wi-Fi for some time. Otherwise, I would recommend doing transfer from iPhone. That's what I usually recommend because it is the fastest and most importantly, it will keep you logged in pretty much everywhere. Not everywhere, but it will keep you in in most places, social media apps included, and it's gonna copy over your home screen layout, your wallpaper, your lock screens that you already had saved, your widgets, everything. So I would recommend most people go ahead and do transfer from iPhone. So that's what we're gonna do, even though it says about an hour and a half to transfer data. Now keep in mind, Apple typically overshoots that estimate. It's almost never the full amount that they say. So keep that in mind and don't get too scared off by that number. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer from other iPhone. Now, don't worry, we have not gotten to the point where we're transferring our eSIM or our physical SIM card yet, so you will get to that. Don't worry. Okay, so here we go. It says, make this your new iPhone. Here's everything set up as you had it on your other phone, and it will show you apps and data, settings, wallet, and it might also show your Apple Watch, if you have an Apple Watch connected, and anything else right there. And if you don't see something, you can go ahead and tap on customize as well. We're just going to continue right here and continue with this. Now, it's asking if we want to update our iPhone automatically, I would recommend just downloading automatically, not installing automatically. That's for software updates. So now we have location services. I would recommend going ahead and turning that on. And now we have an important one called stolen device protection. This is another feature that I would highly recommend turning on. So what this does, as you can see, it adds an additional layer of security in the unlikely case that someone has stolen your iPhone and knows your passcode. And so it's kind of a safeguard to protect your device. So recommend turning that on you will have to put in face ID to enable that. And then we get the screen for Apple intelligence. So it tells us about the new ways to express yourself, the new Siri and built for privacy. So we'll just go ahead and set that up. You can always set it up later, but it doesn't hurt to do it now. It doesn't take very long. You can also summarize notifications. I would recommend just going ahead and doing that for all applications if you want to get your notifications summarized on your lock screen. So it works pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and enable that and priority notifications. I will enable that as well. Now we're moving on to the camera control. That is this button over here on the bottom right hand side that goes right on your index finger if you're right handed when you go to take a picture. So this is a feature that not a lot of people love a lot. Not a lot of people use it, honestly. But if you are somebody who does, you can go ahead and set that up. You also have a new toggle down here at the bottom that says light press to adjust zoom exposure and more. And then we also have visual intelligence. So this is actually useful for the camera control. So basically, if you press in on this, if you press and hold on it, you can learn about the world around you. You can kind of scan buildings, scan restaurants, and you can see information about them, such as their menu, their hours and things like that. It's really cool. I'd recommend going ahead and using that sometime because you have access to it on the iPhone 17. And now we have a splash screen for Siri. So if you want to go ahead and set up Siri, you could tap on continue and you will need to say the phrases and that way Siri can kind of understand your voice. And you also have type to Siri down here as well, where you can double tap the bottom and you can type something to Siri to get a response that way you don't have to verbally say it. So we're going to set this up later and then we're going to move on here. So we have the Apple beta software program. You might not see this. I only have this because I had the beta program on my old device. So if you want to continue Continue that you can go ahead and tap on continue if you do get that prompt now we have emergency SOS so this is very important so press and enter to hold emergency SOS you have crash detection and emergency SOS via satellite. all three very important it's just telling you about those there they are already enabled so there we go now we're transferring over from our old device to our new device so keep a note of the time it is 1108 Apple said it's going to take an hour and a half. My bet is that it's not going to take a full hour and a half. So I'll let you know when it finishes. But after this, we should be transferring over our eSIM and everything as well. If you did not already get that prompt. And if for some reason you don't get the prompt to transfer your eSIM or convert your physical SIM to an eSIM and you go through this whole setup process, don't worry. You could always do it in your settings after this initial setup process. And by the way, you could see, okay, so it's going up right now. I was going to say it only says 30 minutes down there. So we'll see how long this really takes. And by the way, while you're 
data is transferring over, I would highly recommend going to watch my first things to do on the iPhone 17 video so you can learn about everything that your new device is capable of. And if you already watched it, check out my iOS 26 first settings to change video. I think you'll find that useful as well. Both of those will be linked up in the cards and also down in the description below. That's a good way to, you know, kill some time while you're waiting on your data to transfer because there's a lot on these phones that you probably don't even know exists. Okay, so we are officially restored on the iPhone 17 now. That did not take very long at all. Apple said it would take about an hour and a half. It didn't even take an hour. So again, expect Apple to overshoot and overestimate the amount of time that it will take. So let's go ahead and unlock our brand new iPhone 17. And it now says restore completed. And by the way, if you're wondering why I do not typically recommend the iCloud method, I did that on my iPhone 17 Pro right here. And you can see that it will just take a while to download the applications. It's going to end up taking longer than if you just did a transfer from device to device. And when you go to try to go into your social media apps, you can see you just get errors like this and you are not logged in to some of them. So I just prefer to do device to device just to avoid that. You do get access to your phone quicker through iCloud, but it ends up taking the whole process usually ends up taking longer when you do it through iCloud than device to device just for future reference. Okay. So now on the iPhone 17, we have our eSIM transfer. So this is also where you will see if you have a physical SIM card to convert it into an eSIM. This is the same area where you will see that, but I already had an eSIM. So I just need to transfer my phone number very easily right here. And it tells me transfer from iPhone. And it shows that the phone number from this phone is now available on this phone, the iPhone 17. So we're going to tap on transfer from phone. And now it's going to say transfer your phone number. So we're going to go ahead and transfer number. And now you will get this pop up on the old phone and you you will have to double click to confirm that you want to transfer the phone number from the old phone to the new phone. And there we go. It says transfer complete. And it also says cellular setup complete. That phone number is now active on this phone. So now your phone number should be on your iPhone 17 officially. And now on your old phone, you will see that it says, enjoy your new iPhone. When you're ready, come back to get this iPhone ready to be traded in, sold or given away. Now you can tap on continue and it will take you to this screen on the old iPhone. If you do want to erase it. So it's going to give you the prompt now to erase it. I would recommend not doing that unless you are immediately planning to, you know, get rid of it, sell it or trade it in. So if you are planning to sell it or give it to somebody or trade it in, you can go ahead and continue on the screen to erase this iPhone. But for me, I'm just going to do not now. You could always access that in the settings as well. You don't have to do it right away. So that's it for the old iPhone. We don't need anything on the old iPhone anymore. Everything now takes place on the iPhone 17. So it's showing us basically some of the new features here. So we'll go ahead and continue on this, continue through all these demos. And there we go. We get our beautiful welcome screen. Let's go to get started. And there you go. You can see our home screen is exactly the same as it was on the old iPhone. So everything will be the same, the layouts, all your lock screens that you had, everything, your contacts will be there, all of that. Now you will also get this prompt if you want to use this iPhone when sharing your location. I would recommend going ahead and doing that. That way this new phone is what's being tracked in Find My. If we go into our messages, you can see that all of our messages are there. By the way, I did change the fonts in the setup. That's why it looks thicker on here. That's my own doing in the setup. But if I did not change that, it would look the same as the old phone. And by the way, I should also mention if you did not get the prompt for some reason to transfer your eSIM from your old phone to your new phone, you can go ahead and do that in your settings. So just go into your settings, go to cellular. And then from here, you should just be able to go to add eSIM and be able to add your eSIM from that other phone. Okay, so we have X and YouTube downloaded. So you can see X. Yes, we are still logged in on X. And if we go into YouTube, we should be logged in here as well. Okay, so we are not logged in to YouTube, but we are logged in to X. It's probably just because that's related to Google and it's a little bit more strict. But for Instagram, I am still logged in. And also for Discord, I am still logged in here on my new iPhone 17. So there you have it, guys. That is how you can transfer all of your data from your old iPhone to your brand new iPhone 17 without losing anything. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I do have a lot of other iPhone 17 tutorials as well. So if you want to see the first things to do, if you want to see more tips and tricks for the iPhone 17, be sure to check those out on my channel. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys very soon.